Hi, I'm David Grossman. Welcome to Keeping It Real. Today is Sunday, and I've got something that I have to admit to you. There's a show that we shot just over a week ago, and it was a show that I was looking forward to and I was so excited for, and we made a little boo-boo at the beginning of the show. So what happened was after the show, we tried to reshoot the intro, and you know what? I just didn't have the same energy. So I said to Lior, who's my production manager and creative director, I said, Lior, you know what? I'm not going to try and pretend that uh, I come in like a week later wearing the same suit and everything like that. I'm just going to be honest with people. The fact is, this was a show that I was looking forward to probably as much, if not more, than any show that I've ever done. I've had two shows where the people, like, I love all my guests, okay? But, you know, the reality is, is that once in a while you get somebody who's coming in and, you know, you're just, you're really excited for whatever reason, you know? So on this show, we had Paul Toby come in. We also had uh, Dumitru Uncianu. And by the way, I think I said his name better now than I did last time. And also uh, Gary Nuska. Dumitru is from Maxul.com, Gary Nuska from ICI World. So it was a very good show, I think, but we kind of messed up the beginning. I, I don't know exactly why. It, well, I do, to tell you the truth. Let me tell you what happened. Lior, don't take this personally. Lior was trying to make a fix. There was a light shining off of Paul's hair, and it was kind of playing on the green screen. So Lior tried to make an adjustment in the middle of the segment during just after my intro and then we got an error and we had to kind of we kept it going but the original file for the intro was corrupted i was quite disappointed because um there was a lot of positive energy in that particular intro so um so we lost that and i just figured you know what i'm going to come in i'm just going to be honest and, and tell everyone what happened because that would, I thought that would be, be more honest. And also, the other thing is I can tell you now that I finished reading Paul Toby's book, Suggestology. So I can tell you um, with 100% um, uh, confidence that this is and was an awesome book. And I want to tell you a little bit about Paul because he's first on the show, Paul uh, Toby from trainingbusinesspros.com. Um, amazing internet marketer. He does training on all kinds of topics, but internet marketing, I think, is where it, kind of where it started for him. I mean, he's a um, he's a jazz musician most of his life, award-winning jazz musician, and he'll tell you in the interview um, he reached a, a point where he had to reevaluate reevaluate his entire life, where he was going, and he changed directions. And he's done incredibly well. Now, I have been to more than one of his training courses, and they are awesome. And this man really gives. And he's got two main principles, which I think he's going to tell you about in this, in this interview. One of them is not to take advice from somebody who's in the same tax bracket as you, well-meaning friends and family. Because if you, want to go, if, you don't, if you don't want to go sideways, but you want to go up, you need to talk to people who have already walked the same walk that you're in and you can get advice from them. And the second part is about helping other people. And my God, I went on one and a half days of what we'll call complimentary training uh, with Paul. And if you want to go on Paul's training, um, you can go to his website. I think it's easier to find if you go using your mobile, businesspros.com. And you can go on these, uh, these training courses, uh, complimentary, to really get a taste of what he can offer. And if you go and you like it, then you will go back. So I have um, subscribed to go back for some paid training. But man, oh man, I'm telling you, in one and a half days of training, I, th I, I think it's fair to say he started me on an entire new course. Um, and there's something he talks about in his book called The Law of Detachment that I really like. And it's this idea that um, you can be happy in the moment because if you are confident and you know that you are going to get where you want to go, you don't have to worry about the little things along the way because you know you're going to get there. So people read that off you too. I remember a sales guy used to talk about the pasty mouth syndrome. When you're trying to make a deal, 
and you want that deal so badly that you know the client can tell well so Paul talks about the law of detach detachment. So why do I bring that up? Only because we were trying so hard to make this a great intro and, um, and it, didn't, it didn't quite come off right. But, um, but anyhow, in the end, um, I think that it, the right thing to do was to come back and do, and do the show today. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, open the leading question to Paul, which was, Paul, how did you get into all this training? Please enjoy the interview. My belief system is, since I took my own training and had my own mentors, that the money's in the list. Mm -hmm. And of course, why did I email you all those times? Because you've got life to live, and sometimes you can show up, sometimes you don't get the email, sometimes you read it, sometimes you read half of it, but eventually what happened? Eventually, you, you, I you responded, I saw it. You know. And that's the whole point of having a mailing list. Right. And the number one mistake that I think these businesses make is they don't nurture those lists with high value information. So when you come and learn from me, my belief is that you should experience it. So if you're going to purchase a high level training course, and of course our courses are considered some of them, and I'm not saying this to impress you, but mm -hmm. they are some of the most expensive courses in the right. country. How did it get to that point um, is, is a long story, and, and I'll start at the beginning, mm -hmm. but from my perspective, you're going to spend $4,000 on a course. You should experience it first. Would you agree with me? Absolutely. I mean, it's unbelievable. That, you know, from one end, of, you come for a day and a half training, you're fully sold. And I've signed up for some additional training as well. Right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> In answer to your question, I was a 22-year concert jazz musician. Mm -hmm. I played the piano for literally 22 years. I played in 16 different countries. Uh, was nominated for a Juno Award one year in 2001. And when I went there to receive uh, the nomination and, and find out who won, it was out in Newfoundland. And I was in a, uh, sitting at a table with musicians from across the country. And when they announced the nominees for the best traditional jazz album, in that audience of 1,500 people, about 35 really polite people looked up from their coffee and went, Oh, jazz. Right. I think that's part of Air Canada or something. And they yeah. kind of politely clapped. And I'd spent my entire life trying to get to that point where I got some recognition. And as it turns out, even the music industry didn't really mm -hmm. care. And by this time, I'm in my 40s. And as we all know, maybe you're aware of this, but men go through this thing they call midlife crisis. And apparently, you need money for that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. after... 40 years of essentially living from piano gig to piano gig, concert to concert, tour to tour, CD to CD, and I made eight of them, I recognized that I had nothing really to show for it in terms of real world monetary right. and financial success. So that was the beginning of your And I walked crisis. away. Right. I literally, and, and not only did I walk away, I walked across Spain. <laughs> I, okay. went I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, you spend your whole life from the age of eight playing music what do you do? I, right. didn't know, I didn't know anything about business. I didn't know anything about really anything. I lived underground for almost 40 years. And then I went and walked across Spain on the Camino de Santiago. Maybe you've heard of that. Mm -hmm. It's like a pilgrimage. You know, if you don't know what you want to do, go walk about kind of thing. Right. And I did that. And for the first time in my life, I actually, even though I got lost seven times and got hurt four times, I eventually made it to my destination. And then I came back to Canada and I just started reading this stack of books. I started out with The Alchemist. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of a book called The Alchemist by it, Paolo yes. Coelho. It's about a shepherd boy who goes out in the world and seek of fortune. And, and then I made my way through various books by Jack Canfield, Tony Robbins, Deepak Chopra, um, Eckhart Tolle. Looking for inspiration. And then, yeah, looking for inspiration. And then I came across a business book one day. And the, and the book basically said this, okay, you're broke. <laughs> Even though you're maybe a little more aware than you were when you were younger, your situation is still the same. You haven't, we call it conscious incompetence. Right. In the beginning, you're unconsciously just doing things and you're incompetent, but then eventually you become consciously aware that you're doing things wrong or incorrectly or you're, because the only thing that matters on planet Earth is results. Would you agree with me? Sure. So if you're not getting the results that you want, then this book basically said, you can't blame anyone for that. 
It's your fault. It's your belief system. You're the one that got yourself into this mess. Here's about 27 ways to get yourself out of it. And the two biggest things that I learned from that book and then the training was this. Number one, if you want any real world success, especially financial, never take advice from people in the same tax bracket. Good point. Otherwise, you might get different advice, mm -hmm. but you'll move sideways. Right. It sounds good because it's different, but that doesn't make it better. True. And number two, help somebody else get what they want first. Uh, that's a good one. And so what I did was I took some of the small successes that I had in my life, like learning how to sell CDs off the stage or learning how to put a tour together or learning. And I started a company in Toronto called Success Tracks for Artists. In the beginning, it was a good idea. They wanted to take my courses, but they said I don't have enough money because musicians and artists are broke. Mm -hmm. And so as much right. as they wanted to invest in themselves, they, they couldn't find, them, find their way to do it. Curators started showing up, dance company operators started showing up, museums started showing up, business people started showing up. I changed the name to Training Business Pros. And now, uh, I don't know how it happened, honestly. Right. But in five years, we came, became literally the, the leader in online marketing in the country. That's and, amazing. And uh, I, I just, I'm grateful for, for, that, for those early mentors. I'm grateful for the knowledge that they shared with me. And the, why the training company? Because they told me, look, if you have any success at all, you have a duty and a responsibility to teach it to somebody else, regardless mm -hmm. of whether they pay for it or not. I'll take a moment to encourage people to go to your website, uh, Paul, and, and sign up to get stuff. I assume there's a page they can if get If they're on, on a, a mobile or? phone, just yes. look up business training okay. on Google. Right. And you'll find I'm the number one on the organic listings. Right. Go because there. You don't believe in paying on Google. the phone and right <laughs> yeah, on the. They have enough money. I, yes, <laughs> Google makes five billion dollars a year. We don't need to contribute to that, right. although it's good for Google. Um, be nice not to have to spend a lot of money on SEM. Right. You can spend, you know, learn SEO. You can do it yourself. Uh, but if they go there, they'll get the online, the mobile website. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more difficult on the main website because we don't like to give away courses at random. But because the mobile has a, a, currently a smaller audience, we're giving them added value okay. just for kind of trying it out. And so if they look up business training, they'll go to trainingbusinesspros.com, which ends up on the mobile site, m.trainingbusinesspros.com. Right. And right on the front page, there's a bunch of free stuff that they can get. Right. So they can go on one of these courses that I was on mm -hmm. and um, power packed. I mean, where else can you get that much free training and no pressure? No pressure, but I signed up for the uh, thank for, you for for the more for the more advanced, and I'm and I'm looking to that. So I've been telling people that this is a great opportunity. How much I learned in a day and a half, Paul? Really, and that's what I said in my advertisement for the show. Like, really, it, 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 you you changed my life. I mean, listen, you know what? I I don't want to go over the top, but you know, perhaps it was a number of things happening at the same time. But you did help to give me some some ideas and some direction because you know sometimes you know you need a change and then you know when you're with somebody and and uh, you know and Paul you're I also want to say that you're a great entertainer so <laughs> you know this this these skills of uh, composing and playing music that you that you uh, did for your whole life they haven't gone to waste because it's very entertaining training it's fun and very entertaining. If I had that inbred in me, I suppose that would be a really good thing. I, I probably have some comfortability in front of people with a, that long a career in music and mm -hmm. having played concerts literally right. all over the world. But to believe you me, I, I didn't know the first thing about what you call entertaining. Right. I was an artist. Right. I'd come out and bow and people would clap and I'd play and I'd bow and they'd clap and I'd go off stage. That, that was the extent right. of my connection with the audience. And then when I went and took my own training and, and got mentored by some very powerful people, that's when I learned the concept of edutainment. Right. You have to be educational, but entertaining at the same time. Otherwise, people's minds aren't hooked. Right. They're not engaged. Right. So for example, one of the things that I learned, mo one of the most powerful things that I ever learned about reaching people's brains is what is the most powerful thing you could do to hook someone's mind? Make them laugh? I actually just did it. Right. I asked a question. 
Okay. So whether you're asking, thank you. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whether you ask open-ended questions right. or closed-ended questions or get them to fill in the right. blanks or finish your sentences. Right. There's a right. way to get people's mind on the edge of curiosity. Right. And uh, that's a process I learned which is very powerful called suggestology. I don't know if yes. you've ever heard of it. And, and hence the book, I've, which I've started reading, and uh, so far, so good. So far, so good, really. Oh, that's good. I mean, you know what? I, I, I can't read it all in one sitting, and I'll tell you, it's not because it's not great and it's not easy reading, but it's, it's striking a chord that's, that's really in me that I, I, sometimes I just need to say, okay, yeah. that's enough for now. I'm going to come back to it to tonight or tomorrow. It. Yeah, you need time to process mm -hmm. it. And the great thing about, about that book is... I can prove everything. Mm. A lot of people write books before their time. Mm -hmm. there, there's people that write right. books on finance. There's people that write books on this and that. I didn't do that. They told me, look, wait till you got some success. And you know, many people now consider me to be you know, fairly successful in some circles. Yes. And I, I waited, and I waited, and I waited. I waited a few years before writing this book. And, and the great thing about the book is, not only can I prove it, but there's an exercise for every single major aha moment in my life. So if I experience this thing, I put it in the form of an exercise. And if you don't do the exercise, you don't get the greatest value out of the book. Would you agree that what we hear, we tend to forget? Sure. W would you agree that what we see, we tend to remember? That's true. Would you also agree that what we do, we understand? Absolutely. Which tends to be the most powerful lesson of all. And that's why I put exercises in the book. If people don't do the exercises, it's just a good read. Right. It's like, I call them shelf help books. Mm -hmm, right, <laughs> you yeah. buy them, you feel really good about yourself for a few hours while you read it, put it on the shelf, collects dust for the rest of your life. True. So I didn't want to do that. Right. And so I put in, there's QR codes in the book. So if you, all, all you have is your phone, you can literally QR code the, the exercise and it downloads onto your phone. So everything from extra training to lessons to um, strategy to exercises. It's, right, right. Yeah, very interesting. Terrific. Uh, yeah, and join the book very much, and I'll just tell people that uh, if you email me, we, we have a copy of the, um, of the book right here, uh, and uh, send an email to me, david.grossman at alltalktv.com. First person to send an email uh, with the uh, words Paul Toby in the subject line will get the book, free book. Uh, and I'll remind you, go to the website Mobile phone is the best way to get the free training. Uh, training classes uh, valued between two and five hundred dollars, and I'll tell you, um, it, it, that's probably understated. Uh, and uh, for free, and uh, there's locations. Complimentary. <laughs> complimentary. <laughs> complimentary. We try not to use the word free because yeah. it, it seems you know people undervalue that. Right. But I can guarantee you that we never under over promise and under deliver. Complimentary. That's right. I like that. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to start using that. Now we think you should experience yes. it before deciding who you're going to ment right. be mentored by. Right. Very good. Very good. Okay, so uh, complimentary training there's classes in Toronto. I was at some um, in a very nice room at the Prince Hotel. Mm -hmm. Paul sets up a great room there. Very comfortable. Great networking opportunity. Fills up a room. Unbelievable people, resources. Um, Paul, I want to thank you so much for, uh, for all you've done so far to, uh, to help me in my business training and looking forward to, uh, to that marketing mastery course and now set for December. Great. Thank you. It was, it was a, a real pleasure to be here and I appreciate the invitation. Love to come back again. It'd be a pleasure to have you. So there you have it. Um, Paul Toby, CEO, trainingbusinesspros.com. We're going to take a short break, and we have coming up Dim Dimitru Anciano, GTA manager for MaxSold.com, the auction ninja. I love it when people have great names. We're going to talk to, to uh, Dimitru all about that, and we're going to talk with Gary Nuska, founder and president of ICIWorld.net, coming up right after Dimitru. Thanks for watching. Hang, hang in there. We'll be back in just a few minutes.